Welcome to Deep Thought, seeing the movements of groups. Now, I talked about it in my previous episode, talked about communities. I'm going to tell you something now that I do. I pay attention to how groups move, how what they into uh, and on different levels, economic. Like, okay, what's this group of people eating? Like one group I pay attention to are vegans. Vegans. And I'm like, okay, I'm paying attention to them. How could they affect the economy? Because one thing with vegans, they don't eat meat. They don't even eat the products of meat, so they don't need eggs either. Like, they're not losing sleep over, like, eggs being a certain price. It was funny. I was in a grocery store the other day, and a woman was pointing out, like, uh, like some eggs that were, like, uh, two for $12 and stuff. Very expensive, but still. I was thinking about that. It was like, mm, okay, I don't, I don't really eat eggs like that. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna say I'm vegan. I ain't gonna say I'm vegan, but I don't eat eggs. But think about it, how are they moving? How, how is the movement of that one group affecting other groups? You know, because you have people out there like beef farmers and chicken farmers, and you know, you have a whole industry on that. Yet you have a growing in, you have a growing group of people who they they're not eating meat at all. How is that affecting that that group? You know, and shoot, they not even eating processed meats. They not even eating processed meats. That's a big thing. And you know, yeah, you go to some restaurants, you can you can get a processed burger or something like that. But you got some groups not even eating that. How's that affecting that? So that's, you know, that's one movement. You know, that's one movement. Plus they creating businesses behind it. Like one of the things I do with different groups, when I look at different groups, when I do look at different communities, I'm saying, okay, do they have a business behind this? Are they creating something behind this based on their beliefs? Like you have uh, like Tantra or Tantra, tomato, tomato right to enter groups right how are they affecting how are they affecting what they create they creating businesses they you know you have uh groups there retreats stuff like that how's that affecting things and you know I'm, i'll be looking at all of it so far i mentioned two things more in the holistic thing holistic living you've got groups living that way how's that affecting stuff you know or you have groups, you have groups, they not, they not into like the materialism, like, you know, they not gonna buy like, like those $600 shirts or pants or whatever because of how they are living, you know, how are they moving? And yeah, I'm looking at it economically, but how, how are they affecting everything else? How are they affecting relationships? You know, because people who follow my relationship channel know I talk about select and non-select. But that's, that's really based on a Western model of relating. But if you have groups who, you know, for whatever reason, even if they're living in the West, who are not following those patterns, you know, that's something different. That really is something different. Because when I talk select and non-select, that really is based on the Western patterns of relationships, you know, people, you know, even though, um, you know, I've talked publicly about not spending money like that, let's be real, money plays a part. Money does play a part. And a lot of guys, you know, they saying, well, I gotta have money, but what about a guy who's like, eh, I'm a minimalist, you know, or a woman who say, eh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not moved by that money. Shoot, that's a, that's a group. That's a group. How does that affect everything else? You know, what are their, what are their political movements? I ain't going to get too much into the po politics, but, you know, that's a big thing now. You know, I'll be looking at those movements. Spiritual, spiritual, you know. You know, it's one thing with spiritual people. They, they behave a different way. They're going to treat people a different way. So I, I'm paying attention to all of that. And of course, anybody who's followed me know 
that I pay attention to subcultures anyway. I pay attention to subcultures anyway. But one of the things is I would say pay attention to the movements of groups. What are they doing? Because that could affect you. What if you, you know, what if there's a big movement, really big movement towards veganism, and you, but you work at a meat plant? That could affect your job. Mm. Mm. Because if you look at everything happening, if you look at businesses and everything, it's really affected by people and what their needs are. You know, what their needs are. If you look at politics, economics, whatever, even religions, even religions, you know, what, what are they getting into? What are they looking at? You know, what, what type of clothes are they wearing? You know, even subconsciously, even subconsciously, like a subconscious, uh, I've talked before about two different uh, sexual orientations that are subconscious. One is uh, Reverend Intelligentsian, which is more, uh, you know, more, how do I put it? I would say not just fear-based, but more closed off. You know, like someone, like a woman with a Coke bottle figure, she's not gonna wear clothes the, in, in a way that's gonna show off her body. Whereas you got the other group, Central Bohemians, and they gonna shoot. They, even if they don't need to wear tight clothes, they are gonna wear tight clothes. <laughs> but what if there's a movement towards intelligentsia? You know, how does that affect the clothing market? How does it affect the type of clothes people wear? Hmm. And, you know, that's one of the things, since people want communities, remember that previous episode I talked about communities. What are the movements of the groups of different communities? What are they doing? How, that, how, how is that affecting uh, what's going on out here? And that's an important thing. You know, you want to really pay attention and see, it's like, oh, wait a minute, you got these people doing this, this people doing this, these people moving towards the coast, these people spending money, these people, you know, don't want to do this. Because how does that affect you? How does that affect society? I want you to think about that, think. You know, on this channel, it's all about thinking. It's all about thinking. And, you know, people want community. So, okay, how are communities influencing how individuals are moving? Because most people move occur according to whatever their community is doing. Hmm. Hmm. Want y'all to really think about that. You know, and you want to, like, really pay attention. You want to really see the movements of people and what they are doing. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for right now. Think about that. All right. And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.